Hey everybody, welcome back inside the Mind of Matt. And in this episode, I've got five tips that might help out with your 3D printing. If you'd like to find out what they are, you gotta watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So I got five tips for you that they might not be obvious, but they might be obvious. You might be practicing them, you might not be. But if you aren't, it might give you an idea. If you are, then go ahead and like this video and tell everybody how it works for you. Let's start with number five. Number five, I'm gonna talk about bed adhesion. I mean, personally, I'm printing right on the aluminum bed and I use hairspray. There's all kinds of methods that you can use, whether it's blue tape, whether it's a PEI t sheet, whether you're glass, whether you're using a glue stick, whether you're using ABS juice, or whether you're using hairspray like I am. Now in one of my other videos I suggested using the pump because it uses less aerosol that's going being sucked into all the different fans that I have and I've continued to use that and it's worked great so the tip is, is if you use hairspray let it cool so once it cools the piece pulls off real easy I'm going to show you all right, it's just a little bit of hairspray Let me print something for you real quick. Right. So, this has been printed, been sitting, and that's how easy it comes off with the hairspray. I did get a little bit of stringing with this wood, but it's got nothing to do with bed adhesion. It has stuck, and no problem coming off. If you do have a little issue, I use a spatula, and I just take it, and I just give it a little tap. So for tip number four, it's a filter, a filament filter. This is mine, and what it's meant to do is to collect any dust or debris that has built up on the outside of your filter. If you don't do this, it's going to get sucked into your extruder, and with me, I have a Bowden tube, it's going to end up going down that tube and into my extruder and clogging up eventually. By using this simple little filter that I printed out, I'll leave the Thingiverse model in the description, but this one is a two-part. It's threaded, screws inside of each other, and it has a little cavity inside that you can shove a sponge of some sort. Just something to rub against the outside of the filter, or the filament, and make sure that it collects some of the debris. For tip number three, we're gonna to have to step over the computer. Let's do that now. For this tip, I'm gonna talk about a free piece of software that's built right into your Windows. Did you know that 3D Builders is a Windows program that can help you fix files that you might happen to download from say Thingiverse or another website let's take a look just type into your start bar 3d builder and there it is if it's not installed it's a free app to install right on your windows I actually have mine installed and I have a hotkey down here but what this allows you to do is just take a simple file that you've downloaded and just check it to see if there's any errors. I found an error on a Benchy. Did you know that the Benchy STL file that's out there on the in internet is actually got some mistakes in it? Let's take a look. I'm going to load an object. 
and I'm going to select the file. In this case, I'm going to go with the 3D Benchy. Then you'll import the model. And if you see this right here, so one or more of the objects have invalid defines. Click here to repair. And it's just as simple as clicking this button and it'll repair it. Depending on the size of the file, it could take a little bit or it might be quick. In this case, it's probably going to be quick. Now that took about two minutes. And now your file is fixed. And all you have to do is save it and then print it. So do make sure that you save it as an STL format though. It will give you some prompts. I'm just going to call this fixed. And here it will tell you that uh, some of the information will be lost by saving in this format. So you're going to save it anyways. And then you can go ahead and print it. So that's 3D Builder. Check it out. Tip number two. We're going to talk about temperature. Now depending on what you're going to print, whether it's going to be PLA or ABS or in this case hips or nylon or whatever, it's going to have a, a temperature rating. And normally that rating is in a range. And my tip is it's okay to experiment. Sometimes you might have to go a little hotter. Sometimes you might have to go a little colder. Each printer is going to be different. And depending on your settings and the way you've calibrated, it might determine the outcome of your print by just increasing the temperature or just decreasing it a little bit. So don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. That's my tip. And finally, and once again, these are not in any chronological order as far as importance or anything like that. but. The last one, this isn't necessarily for beginners. This could be for those advanced printers as well. Been printing hairy things? I've printed a couple. I've actually had this hairy lion sitting on my shelf just for a particular purpose. And it just happens to be this. So let's go to a different spot where I can demonstrate what I'm going to show you. Ready? Let's go. All right, so we're up in the kitchen. And uh, the tip is, you know, I used a hot air gun on the other, and it worked pretty good, but I ended up getting some overheating in some areas, and it kind of like globbed up the plastic, and at that point it was pretty hard to separate so what we're going to use is we're going to use some hot water check it out And there you have it. So did you find any of these tips useful? Make sure you hit that like button. And while you're here, make sure that you're subscribed. Set that notification so that you get an alert next time I got a video coming out. And make sure you share it with your social media. It gives me a help. One other thing, folks. If you can watch the ads, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help out my channel. So thanks again, everybody, for stopping inside the mind of Matt. I hope some of these tips help you. Keep coming back. Happy printing.